The Brave Girl and the Cracked Wall In a distant land, surrounded by towering mountains, there was a small village called Lumina. This village was very special because it was protected by an ancient wall that kept the mountain's avalanches from sliding down and covering everything. The wall had been built by the villagers' ancestors many centuries ago and was made of strong stones and reinforced with magic. Every person in Lumina knew how important the wall was. It protected their homes, their farms, and their very lives. The villagers would often say, the wall protects us, so we must protect the wall. Among the villagers was a little girl named Ilara. She was known for her curiosity and adventurous spirit. Ilara loved exploring the village, climbing trees, and playing by the wall. Her favorite pastime was to sit at the base of the wall, where she would listen to the faint whispers of the mountain wind. One day, while Elara was exploring near the wall, she heard a strange sound. It was a soft, cracking noise. Startled, she put her ear to the wall and listened closely. The sound came again, faint but clear. Crack! Elara looked around and noticed a small crack running up one of the stones. Her heart skipped a beat. A crack in the wall could mean danger for the entire village. Elara knew she had to act quickly. If the crack spread, the wall could break, and the mountain's snow and rocks would come tumbling down. She looked around for help, but she was alone. The village was quiet, and everyone was busy with their chores. Alara took a deep breath. She was just a little girl, but she knew she had to do something. Without thinking twice, she pressed her tiny hands against the crack, trying to keep it from widening. She pushed as hard as she could, her palms flat against the stone. She knew her strength alone could not stop the crack from spreading, but she hoped it would buy enough time for help to arrive. Hold on, Wall. Please hold on, Ilara whispered to herself. Time seemed to crawl. Ilara's arms began to ache, and her fingers felt numb, but she didn't move. She kept pressing against the wall, her eyes fixed on the village path, hoping someone would come. The sun moved slowly across the sky, and shadows grew longer. Just when Alara thought she couldn't hold on any longer, she saw movement in the distance. A group of villagers was coming back from the fields. She shouted as loud as she could, Help! There's a crack in the wall! The villagers heard her cry and rushed toward her. When they saw Alara standing with her hands pressed against the crack, they understood the danger. The village elder, a wise old woman, stepped forward and gently pulled Alara away. Thank you, brave child, she said. You have saved us. Now it's our turn. The villagers quickly gathered their tools and began to repair the crack. They worked swiftly, filling the gap with strong, magical mortar. Alara watched as they mended the wall, her heart swelling with pride. She had done her part to protect her village. When the repair was finished, the villagers gathered around Alara and lifted her high into the air. They cheered for her bravery and called her a hero. Alara's cheeks turned pink, but she smiled wide. From that day on, Alara was known as the Brave Girl of Lumina. The villagers often told the story of how a small girl with a big heart had stood up to the crack in the wall and saved their village. And whenever Alara walked by the wall, she would smile and press her hand against the stone knowing that even the smallest among them could make a big difference.